Good afternoon everyone, welcome to Central Manchester. We are now in St Anne's Square, looking at the Exchange Theatre. Quick comedy aside, quick comedy, light relief. In St Anne's Square, there's St Saint Anne's Church, and there's a big banner alongside it saying Worship at St Anne's. And it doesn't take much of a mental leap to see it saying Worship Satan. St Anne's, St Saint Anne's, St Anne's, St Anne's, Satan. Ha 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 it's all interconnected. Hello Mercedes, how are you? But, anyway, I hope you have enjoyed the last countless videos, 18 videos, 20 videos, I've lost count, at the Kadem, the shop owned by Jewish people that sells Israeli goods. And I started off completely impartial, and as my videos progressed, I took more and more of a side of the shop. And I have my own political reasons for doing so, I think Jewish people are actually an endangered species from a purely anthropological point of view. We should try and help their tribe thrive because <laughs> diversity, dynamic diversity is what's going to keep this world amazing and I have a lot of respect for the community spirit of Jewish people, the family spirit, the belief in education, the belief in tradition. Of course I have a lot of criticisms just like you can have criticisms of every group, every practice, every person, whatever. But, my poor son's coughing. Are you okay, Leo? Yeah, he's fine. Um, I got bullied quite badly at school. And then, after the whole, you know, coming out of escaping, escaping the conspiracy theorist world, I got very heavily bullied. It was a sadistic attack on me. And what happens is you develop a thick skin. You develop a skin to the point where you don't mind, you will go into battle, you will go and joust with people on an emotional, spiritual, political, consciousness level. You fight them against their issues, they fight you against your issues. And people recently have tried to like say really nasty things about me, thinking that that'll stop the videos, that I'll shy away, that I have skeletons in the cupboard that I don't want to talk about openly. As you've seen, allegations are untrue. I'm happy to post these on YouTube because May the truth destroy you, and may you be immune from the lies. I don't think anyone's going to solve the Israel-Gaza problem on King Street. As you saw from the recent video, they have their little area now where they're having a kind of sleep-in, a sleepover for the homeless people of Gaza. And as I said, they don't think that they're doing evil. Israelis don't think that they're doing evil. So what does this all mean? It means that perhaps the, the mind of God has seven billion faces and our inner conflict is believing we are the surface ego with testosterone or estrogen and desires for power and control and dominance when in fact we are the vibration between everything and nothing we are infinite beings we might even be God himself and we're going through this space-time continuum we born, we age, we experience things, we die as humans. And here's the thing, trying to talk about this, you know, I think in the Kabbalah it says, you know, the day that the true name of God is uttered, the world will end. It's very apocalyptic, but I've been reading this introductory book to the Kabbalah, and it's, in, it's very exciting, the tree of life, it looks at the certain things, and perfect Metatron's cube can be made at the points in the tree of life amazing amazing coincidence or it's obviously made um, and if I can throw my two cents in here is that I see you know around me you know Stacy talks about feminism and the patriarchy and I did a video when I first started the love police called the faded glory of the goddess shall return and we will go back to a shamanic uh, female worshipping goddess worshipping culture probably a lot more peaceful in the Kabbalah, one of the points is the Malkuth, which translates as the royal vulva, the royal vagina. And Judaism is a matrilineal um, religion, way of life, meaning that you get your Judaism from your mother. And you know, there's a, there's a kind of a biological reason, explanation for this, is that you always know who your mum is, but sometimes you don't know who your dad is. So maybe the whole matrilineal thing is to be sure. But also, it's also respecting the life-giving, the only person on this planet that can actually grow a human being and deliver it into the planet are women. And 
so many cultures are subjugating them and like I don't want to talk about Islam and say ah oh, fucking Islam attacking women making them disappear behind veils and so forth I don't think it's Islam I think it's old tribal maniac behaviors using Islam as a way to subjugate people using the patriarchy as a way to subjugate people because I was on the train recently coming back from London I was working filming gospel choirs can you imagine and I was coming back to Manchester and I sat opposite a Saudi Arabian female pediatrician. Uh, I'll, I got her name, I'm not going to give her name because she'll probably get into trouble, you know, there's the way these things are. But she wasn't wearing a veil, wasn't wearing a headscarf. I thought she was like Lebanese Christian when I saw her. She was actually a devout Muslim Saudi Arabia. And then yesterday, she explained to me like all these fucking maniacs beheading children. They're not Muslims, they're fucking idiots. And um, the British Muslim Council issued a fatwa, an edict, a political message against ISIS, the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria. You know, the name, they went through ISIS, ISIL, to IS, and back to ISIS. And I think it's gone back to ISIS because, you know, it's respecting the goddess, but also it's Iraqi state in Iraq and Syria, ISIS. The British Muslim Council issued a fatwa against people going to go join this band of nihilists and heretics and death worshippers. And this is where it gets very complicated. You've got the mainstream media pumping your brains full of like anti-Islam propaganda. You've got fucking... You've got certain aspects of the mainstream media filling your mind with the idea that Israeli people are all child killers and they don't actually care. And this is the thing, like, what propaganda does, it makes you blind to the suffering, the human suffering of your enemy. You might see, like, you know, a little four-year-old in Israel died. You might see people in fucking Ramallah jumping up and down like fucking idiots saying, yeah, we got an Israeli. But then on the flip side, in five weeks, 2,000 people, some of them, I, you know, this is the thing, the first casualty of war is the truth. How many of the people killed were Hamas militants? My personal feeling, I've studied, I've had a look at all these precision weapons, I've seen all the videos released by the IDF, I've seen the kind of official figures, a very high proportion of the 2,000 people killed were Hamas militants, hell-bent on destroying Israel, you know, so... The media will present Israelis as fucking baby killers, when in fact, what do you do? What do you do? And I've got so much to say about this Ashia king, you know, the, these two parents that took their terminally ill cancer son away from the hospital, took them to Spain. I've got so much to say about that, about state owning your kids versus you owning your kids. But I'm gonna save that for another video. I just wanna say thank you. Oh yes, one last thing as well. See ya. People accuse me of only doing this for money. Money is one of the reasons I do this. And if you can spare some change, if you are actually able to throw me some money, please have a look at the ways to do this in the description box. Um, if you've enjoyed the support of Kadem and the Jewish shop and trying to help them, please do give some energy back. I put a lot of energy, a lot of psychic energy, a lot of psychic pain goes into these videos and they're absolutely free for everyone they always will be free of course and contrary to popular belief I'm not paid by the police I'm not paid by the government I'm not paid by anyone except you and yes I earned big money I was on 50,000 pounds a year as a banker the last five years I've earned literally peanuts and it does cause problems when you have a family and you don't earn very much money I do believe though a human being should do as a job what he loves, what he or she loves, and then something might grow of it. But I'm, I'm asking you guys, I'm begging you guys, please do try and donate a little bit of money back so that I can continue to make these videos with the exact same level of independence. Warts and all, nothing hidden, nothing censored, mistakes, that which is correct, everything displayed for you. So without fear, without too much pain, with a love for humanity, with an understanding deep in my heart, swearing on my children's lives that we are so infinitely, profoundly unique and special and amazing, and with the knowledge that I'm not gonna go fight with any pro-Palestinians, I'm not gonna go and argue with any Israelis. Live and let live. May people talk and not fight. And thank you, God bless you all.
what do you say after thank you and God bless you all, I guess, goodbye, thank you. And fade away to sky.